Hi and welcome to the channel. Today we'll be unboxing the recently released Moonman T2. The pen comes in a box with a cardstock sleeve on the outside. The sleeve has a clean pattern design that's quite refreshing, and the box seems sturdy with a tight hinge opening. It's a demonstrator pen that looks like the Stipula Ventidu Taco Ferro on the outside. Yet contains a filler mechanism on the inside much like the Tweezby Go. The Moonman T2 comes in two color choices, the brown in this video, and a bright silver version. It's a heavier pen made mostly of metal. The cap in the body is made of aluminum alloy, whereas the nib and grip section is made of brass. The prominent inkwell on the center column is made of acrylic, and can hold up to 1.3 milliliter of ink. These constructions bring the total weight of the pen to 53 grams capped, and 34 grams uncapped. Some people might find it too heavy for extended writing sessions. The overall length of the pen is 14 centimeters, and 12.3 centimeters without the cap. It is a thicker pen, with the grip section having a radius of 1.1 cm and the body radius at 1.4 cm. Opening up the pen shows us the spring-loaded filler. Pressing down on the spring mechanism is easy and doesn't require a lot of force. It can be done one-handed, and therefore a breeze to draw ink from the bottles. One interesting note is that the knurled cap at the back can be removed, and allow the spring to be uninstalled. This converts the pen into a syringe filler. Without the spring, the plunger can be pushed all the way to the bottom, and therefore draw more ink into the well on its way back. Personally, I change my ink quite often, and prefer the spring-loaded filler for a quick draw out of the ink bottle. The pen feels comfortable to hold when uncapped, but the shiny grip section can feel slippery depending on how you hold the pen. Capping is possible with the Moonman T2, but makes the pen too long and top heavy for my preference, but I don't have large hands, so your mileage might vary. The pen shares the same nib with the Moonman C1, and this one here comes with a fine nib. This pen is hard to find at the moment, but search on eBay or Etsy for sellers that might be able to make an arrangement for your country. The price should be within the range of 25 to 30 US dollars, with or without a box. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy pen videos, please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.